Today we'll be doing gas collection over water, right? in particular we'll be collecting oxygen gas. Right? So right here I have some acidified hydrogen peroxide in the conical flask, some manganese dioxide which will catalyze the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen, a water trial, a burette and a delivery tube. Right? To collect oxygen gas over water first, fill up the water trial with water. Right, roughly to the mark on the top. Right, please take note it cannot be too full because you do not want water to spill out from the top. Next, mm -hmm. we will then fill the burette with water. Alright, so using a beaker, collect some tap water right, and fill to the brim. Of the burette. Alright, okay, with this, alright, cover the mouth of the burette with your palm, invert the burette and put the mouth of the burette underneath the water before clamping it. This will prevent water from rushing out of the burette. Okay, so right now you have your burette clamp on and it's fully submerged in the water using a dropper right introduce some air bubble to adjust the water level in the burette right this is so that you can read off the burette later on Okay, next, you will insert the delivery tube into the opening of the burette. Alright, please take note, you need to insert it sufficiently deep so that the tubing will not get dislodged later on during the experiment. Alright, while doing so, ensure that there's no kink along the rubber tubing. Alright, with that, you are ready to start the experiment. reading of the burette. All right, take note that the burette is read, read inverted. All right, so you similarly you read at the bottom of the man's curse. All right, so over here you should read 48.1. All right, so over here you should read 48.10 cmq. That's your initial reading. Okay, as soon as you are ready, Okay, I'm going to pour in MnO2 to the acidified hydrogen peroxide in the conical flask. This will start the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to form oxygen gas and water. I cap the rubber bung immediately to start capturing, to start um, collecting the oxygen gas. As you can see, you can oxygen gas being produced and you can then monitor the rate of production of oxygen gas with time. So at a fixed time interval, you can start to read the burette level to see the volume of oxygen gas per unit time. 